Hey, Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success video blog. We are on the final chapter of Hypnotic Selling, and this is the one that ties it all together. The chapter is titled, People Don't Believe You. And here's a simple reality. People don't believe you telling them what to do. People do believe what they think is the right thing to do. One of my greatest pet peeves is when I hear the telemarketer, the insurance salesperson, or even the car salesperson come in and tell me, don't you care about fill in the blank. I've had insurance people come in and say, don't you care about the future of your family? And my response is always, no, I don't. I'm dead. What's it matter? Now, they don't know how to take that. And I alluded to this in a previous chapter, but also the telemarketer who's trying to sell you something goes, don't you care about X, Y, and Z? I had an experience where I wanted to buy water bottles with my label on them. Just so you know, this is not Aqua One, the greatest water company in the world. This was a different water company in the past. I'm talking to the salesperson and I say, I'm really thinking about buying water bottles that are labeled with my label so that when people are in my trainings or in my speeches, they're continuously reminded about me. And they go, that will be X amount of dollars for 20 dozen cases. And I go, wow, that's a lot more than I was expecting. And they said, don't you care about what your people are drinking? I'm like, no, I care about what they're thinking about, not what they're drinking about. And she said, well, then we can't help you. That was the end of the conversation. What she should have done is said, well, tell me why you want to label the water bottles. And I would have explained it when I said I wanted it. And then she would have said, how do you believe that will benefit you? And what is the value of that to you and the future of your company? And I would have explained it and I would have tried to put a dollar amount to it. And she would have said, fantastic. If it's worth X, it's only gonna cost you this much of that in order to have those water bottles. And I would have said, wow, that really makes sense. Let's do it. Instead of going straight to the price. So people don't believe you and the value that you're saying it has. People believe themselves and the value they are saying that it has. There is a bad five-step process and a good five-step process that you can follow. So let me take you through these. The bad five-step process, which I see all the time in insurance, in the auto industry, in a number of other sales industries, apparently including the water industry. Here we go. Number one, establish the greatness of your company. We've been around for 25 years. We do business all over the world. We do X, Y, and Z. Number two, identify their pain. Here's what I see is wrong with you. Step number three, intensify your pain. You're going to die. You will never close another deal. Everything is bad. The sky is falling if you don't use our product or service. Step number four, Explain how your product or service stops the pain and is the only way to stop the pain. And step number five, explain how what they're doing isn't going to work, never will work, never has worked, and they've made bad decisions in the past and you're the only one that can save them from themselves. That's what I see in a lot of sales. The good step, five step process looks like this. Number one, identify what is important to the prospect. So you're looking for what's important to them, not how great you are or how you're the best of the best, but what is it that they want and why do they want it? Step two, that is the why it's important to them. You indicated that this, why is that important to you? You listen to them. You've got to be a great listener in this five-step process that is done right. Step three, you want to learn about what they're doing and put a focus on that. So what is it you're doing right now? Because most people are doing a little something, but not a lot of something in order to solve their problem. Step number four, discuss with them what they like about their current solution and what they believe is missing or what could be added in order to make it better. Uh, Steven Schiffman is a guy that I got to know a while back phenomenal sales trainer, tons of great books. In fact, he just published the fifth version of closing techniques that really work. Great book. If you haven't bought it, go buy it. But one of the things that he and I talked about when we first started working together is that so many people will go in with the idea of what they're going to sell. You go into an office, for example, and this is the way that I would explain it. I see that you have a brown cow in your office. I can't believe you have a brown cow. You should buy a Holstein. Now, they're going to go, well, but I love my brown cow. My brown cow has a name. It's part of the family. So you've just dissed that person. Instead, what you should do is say, I see you have a brown cow in your office. Tell me why you have a brown cow. 
And they explain it. Well, why is having a brown cow important to you? And they explain it. What is it that you believe is missing from the brown cow that you wish that you could have and don't currently have? And they explain it. Each time, I'm just asking good questions to move them through this process. Number five, the final step in this, is you fill in the gap. They've just explained what they wish they had that they don't have. All you sell is the gap. Don't try to sell everything. What you'll find is people will go, well, if you're gonna do that, doesn't it make more sense for me to just do everything with you? And you go, you know what? If that makes sense to you, that makes sense to me. Let's move forward. You've got to go out of your way, though, to follow the right process. Now, if you haven't purchased this book, go get it on Amazon. Pretty soon, this will be on Audible and iTunes as well as an audiobook. May already be, so definitely go and check. I would love to have you follow me as a subscriber on YouTube. Make sure that you share this with your friends. Make sure that you look for the page that is the book study. It will be jodyholland.com forward slash hypnotic.html. I can't wait to see you in the next book study. I can't wait to share more information with you. Have a fantastic day. You are awesome and tell someone else that they are as well. We'll see you next time.